do you think are the biggest design considerations we need to keep in mind when it comes to military and aerospace applications? If reliability comes to mind, you're definitely on the right track. Today's military and aerospace applications demand a high degree of reliability because of the extreme rugged conditions where they are used. But our design considerations shouldn't end there. We also need to talk about speed and versatility because without those two elements, we're going to be left in the dust. Hi, I'm Amelia Dalton, host of Chalk Talk. In this episode of Chalk Talk, Ryan Hill from TE Connectivity and I explore the benefits of TE's multi-gig RT connectors and how these connectors can help empower the next generation of military and aerospace designs. We examine the components included in these solutions and how the modular design of these connectors make them a great fit for your next military and aerospace design. And before we get started, don't forget to click that link. There you can find even more information about this topic from TE Connectivity. Hi, Ryan. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hi, Amelia. Good to be here. So we're talking about multi-gig RT connectors today. But before we get started, can you set the stage for us? We're talking about VITA standards within the VPX arena, right? That's right, Amelia. VPX is really the standard ecosystem when we look at connected and embedded systems. VPX covers a range of product families, and it's really like the brain and the central computing area for a system. So while today we'll be talking about multi-gig RT connectors, we as TE Connectivity have a variety of different products that fit into this VPX ecosystem. And really it's about flexibility in the application. Where we see our products playing is giving the engineers who design these products opportunity to create new solutions, to be flexible with their design, and ultimately empower the future systems that keep us safe in our defense markets. Some specific examples of those include our optics connectors, our power connectors, and even products that enable daughter carding, such as our mezzanine connectors. All of these different types of connectors work together and give the engineers in our marketplace options as they look to build future programs. Now, the key markets for VPX backplane solutions are military applications, right? That's absolutely right. Our main markets are absolutely military-based, and that takes multiple different forms. Aircraft is a primary one that we think of. Also, ground vehicles, uh, sea applications and subsea applications. And more and more, we're getting into the space and missile defense systems. All of these applications are growing at a rapid rate. They're evolutionizing, meaning they are taking on more and more technology and really have seen a focus on both speed and versatility to market. So tell me more about the multi-gig RT connectors. What kind of benefits are we looking at with these connectors? So multi-gig's value proposition starts with reliability. Vita has been around for a long time, and multi-gig has been within the Vita standard since 2003, and that's because of that reliability that we bring to the market. When we talk about reliability, we're talking about extreme ruggedness. This product needs to function in some of the most harsh environments in the world, and we rely on these products in our applications to keep us safe. So reliability is a must for this product. The other value proposition that comes with this is speed. As we get more and more technologically advanced with these connectors, speed is becoming much more important to our customer base. In just a few years, essentially tripled the speed of the multi-gig RT connector, and we're looking at growing beyond that. And then finally, versatility. This is what sets multi-gig apart. The modular settings that multi-gig uses to allow for signal and power connections is really differentiated from all other connector types in the market. So does TE offer different speeds within this connector family? 
So we have four offerings within the multi-gig family today, and it's really a roadmap that has evolved over the last 20 years. Starting in 2003, we launched the multi-gig RT2 connector, and that was a 10 gigabit per second system. It was rated for just a few hundred cycles, and this was the first attempt into a wafer-style connector. And we're going to talk a little bit more later about what that wafer technology can bring us. But ultimately, it goes back to the value proposition of multi-gig, which is versatility. Multi-gig RT2 was in the market for about 10 years at that 10 gigabit speed. And we were finding that we had more and more applications that didn't necessarily grow speed, but required some more ruggedization. And that's when we came out with our RT2R. R for rugged, makes it nice and easy for everybody. The rugged design that we implemented into the contact system allowed us to not only increase the number of mating cycles, but also was proven to perform to a Vita 72 vibration standard, which is above and beyond where connectors were performing at this time inside of this market. The quad redundant contact system that we use with these products have really differentiated as a market offering. Over the last couple of years, we've started to get voice of customer and have noticed that speed is growing more and more. And so just in the last four to five years, we've launched two additional product families within the multi-gig universe, those being the RT2S product, which stepped up speed at a 16 gigabit rating, And then the multi-gig RT3, which is our latest offering, this essentially doubled the speed of the 2S connector to almost 32 gigabits per second. The main thing we like to note about these connectors is that they really work together. And when I say that, I mean that they're intermatable. The RT2R, the RT2S, and the RT3 all are backwards compatible with one another. That gives engineers some options, but it also means that Ultimately, our customers are not having to worry about a brand new board design or board layout every time additional speed is required, which is really a a differentiator for us. One other thing we like to point out is that the multi-gig RT family is made in the USA. All of our connectors for multi-gig are sourced in our Mount Joy, Pennsylvania location, and they've been made there since the beginning of the multi-gig family in 2003. So what kind of components are included in these connectors? So multi-gig is really made up of three main components. The goal of multi-gig is ultimately connecting a daughter card to a backplane. And so we have two connector types for each the daughter card and the backplane. The daughter card uses that wafer technology I had referenced earlier. And the benefit of this wafer technology is that you can mix both power and signal connectors inside one application. You'll see in the red here an example of our PCB wafer. That is going to then mate to the backplane connector. And the backplane connector uses an eye of a needle contact in order to be mounted to the board and a spring contact to make the connection between the daughter card and the backplane. The final piece of componentry is the guide hardware. This is used to assure that intermatability is not an issue. This also gives customers the option of providing keying. This would avoid any sort of mismating or improper application inside of their design. So Ryan, can you explain a bit more about the wafers in these connectors? Absolutely. The wafers are really key to this technology. There are standard layouts for these wafers that Vita recommends. But it's also up to the engineers to be flexible and to be creative in how they use them. The wafers essentially enable the connector to carry different loads or different signals. So on the left, you'll see a differential type of connector or wafer. The differential wafer is ultimately used for group pairings. And so we point out that we have a signal pair and a ground, and each wafer contains three of these. This can also be done in the reverse manner. So we have a differential B, which just aligns the ground to the bottom of the wafer. 
In the middle, we get into different types of wafers outside of differential. One is a single ended, and this is used for lower speed signals, but discrete signals. Uh, we also have power wafers, which are very common and are used at different amperage ratings, up to 33 amps for a single power wafer. And finally, with the RT3, we introduced a high-speed differential wafer. This is similar to the wafers that are used in the RT2 and the RT2R, but allow customers to work at improved speeds of 32 gigabits per second. On top of that, the wafers come in two different size options, and that's really looking at how the application is used and how much board space is available for the particular connector. So one of the things we always like to point out to customers is that Vita uses a standard layout when it's talking about its units, and we commonly refer to them as 3U or 6U units. The slide here is actually showing a layout of those units and how they would be configured. And what we've done to make it easier for customers is laid out specifically what connector product within the multi-gig family can be used for each of the slot profiles. Part numbers that are shown here are specific to each of the multi-gig RT families. There's also guide hardware identified. And one thing I like to always mention is that there is a resource on te.com that can help engineers who are new to this and laying this out for the very first time. So Ryan, I've been interested in Space VPX for a while now. Are your multi-gig RT connectors applicable for Space VPX as well? Amelia, absolutely they are. And more and more we're getting questions about space applications, not just in the multi-gig family, but across TE connectivity with our connector portfolio. I'm happy to say that Vita has released space connectors within the multi-gig family, designed specifically for the Vita 78 application. What's unique about this is that it has a different plating content. So typically within space applications, you'll see a 60-40 tin lead plating, and that's to avoid any sort of tin whiskering in the application. We also offer Vita 78 specific wafer configurations within our multi-gig space connectors. And that's really designed for utility management and some of the power modules that are common on these space applications. And the last thing I'd like to point out is that we have done two qualification tests above and beyond the standard multi-gig that apply to these space applications. One is outgassing, which is common for space applications. And the other is shock up to 1,000G for these space applications. We also have laid out, similar to the standard multi-gig family, a part number configuration specific to these Vita 78 standards. So Ryan, how can my audience get a hold of you if they have questions? So myself and my counterpart in the European region is Bert, are available. You have our email on the screen here. We also, as TE Connectivity, offer our product information center which is available 24 hours a day and takes a variety of inquiries and can help from a both technical standard and a commercial standard. I always like to end by encouraging customers to go to our website at te.com and check out the Vita options, not only for multi-gig, but all of the VPX connectors within TE connectivity. Awesome. Well, I think that's all I have time for today. Thank you so much for joining me, Ryan. Thank you very much. And before we go, you didn't forget to click that link, did you? There you can find even more information about this topic from TE Connectivity. For Chalk Talks, I'm Amelia Dalton from eejournal.com. For more Chalk Talks, head on over to the Chalk Talks section of EE Journal. You can't miss it, it's right across the top. Or head on over to YouTube, youtube.com slash eejournal.